In our last video, we talked about the expected value or mean of a distribution. We also mentioned the mode. And this one, we're going to look at the variance or, uh, and standard deviation of a discrete distribution. So before we do this, we remember we talked about the expected value last time. So I want to generalize this a little bit. If we talk about the expected value of some function of a random variable x, we define that to be take that function g of x, multiply by the probability, the PDF, of that x value, and then add those up for all x's that are in the domain, all possible x values. Now if the function g of x is just x, we've got the expected value of x, which is the mean. But it turns out we can define the variance of a discrete distribution as the expected value of x minus mu squared. So this is very similar to the way we talked about standard or variation uh, variance, excuse me, in the uh, section on the unit on dis uh, descriptive uh, statistics. So if you remember, what we did is we took the x value minus the mean and squared it, and then we added those up divided by uh, well how many we had by n if it was a finite distribution. Well, the adding them up and dividing by n is equivalent to multiplying by the probabilities here. So this p of x is the PDF of x. And so this is the basic formula. So let's see, let's see if we can put this in action and make a little bit more sense of this. So here we have some x values, 4, 6, 8, and 11. Probabilities are 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, and 0.4. First of all, is this a legitimate uh, PDF? Well, all the y values of the PDF, the output values, must be probabilities, so they have to be between 0 and 1. And sure enough, they are. And then also, they have to add up to 1, which they do. Now, before we can get going with this, we have to actually find the mean. Okay, so from our last video, we see that we must multiply the x value times the probability, which is what we're going to put here, and add them up, and that will be the mean in the purple box. So here we do it. 4 times 0.2 is 0 0.8. 6 times 0 0.3 is 1.8. 8 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.8. And 11 times 0 0.4 is 4.4. Add those up, we get 7.8 is our mean. Now, how do we find the, uh, the variance? Well, what we want to do now is we want to find these differences from the mean. So we want to find the, uh, the x values minus mean. So 4 minus 7.8 is going to go here. 6 minus 7.8 is going to go there, like that. Now, if we were to multiply these by the probabilities and add them up, you're always going to get 0. But what we're going to do here for the variance is we're going to square these guys. So these are the x minus mu's. We're going to square each of those. So negative 3.8 squared is 14.44. Uh, negative 1.8 squared is 3.24. Notice that that makes all these positive. Now I'm going to take these x minus mu squares, I'm going to multiply them by the, the PDF, or the probability, of that particular x. So the probability that x is 4 is 0.2, we multiply that by 14.44, we get 2.888. So we take the 3.24 times the 0.3 to get this one, 0 0.04 times 0.1 to get here, 10.24 times 0.4 to get this. Add those up, and this one with the pink background is the variance. So I'm going to ask you maybe to, to think about this a little bit and to, uh, to go ahead and maybe even uh, maybe even take a look at this and um, make sure that you've got this, uh, make sure you understand it. Press pause now. Okay, now that you're back, we can see this. So... Uh, what about the standard deviation? Well, that's pretty easy. Just take the square root of the variance. So the variance is the expected value of x minus mu square. Standard deviation is the square root of that. So in the exa uh, this example here, that would be uh, the square root of the 7.96 would be the uh, standard deviation. Now, we can also talk about, I'm going to throw in skewness in this video as well. 
Uh, the skewness of a distribution is a measure of the deviation from symmetry of the distribution. So remember, if the skewness is zero, it's the distribution is perfectly symmetric. It's got positive skewness or skewed to the right uh, when you have a, basically a longer tail or more spread out on the right side. And similarly, a negative skewness or skewed to the left, it's going to be more spread out on the left. But you can actually compute a number for skewness. And let me show you how to do it for a probability distribution. So the skewness turns out to be the expected value, uh, basically, of a cube of a z-score. So it's expected value of x minus mu cubed over sigma cubed, or in other words, the expected value of x minus mu over sigma cubed. Well, that's just a z-score. So it's expected value of a cube of a z-score. Okay. Uh, it should make some sense that it's going to be something about these deviations cubed because this way, uh, by taking an odd power, if you've got more deviation on one side than the other, it's going to you know, add to the skewness in that direction, and this gives us a measure of that. So, again, the expected value of z cubed is z cubed times the PDF of that x and then sum that up. So this is our basic formula there. In the next video, I'll give you an example of where we compute that.